Okay, throttle bodies. Today, we are doing a throttle body cleaning on our 2010 G37 X sedan. X. Um, so we already removed the engine cover. It was five bolts, uh, pretty straightforward stuff. You have two 10 mil hose clamp bolts right here. Eight. Uh, sorry, eight mil. This was a 10 mil that holding the resonator. Yep. Um, a note for you, because it might be on your car. This clamp was on the bottom. Yeah. And um, it's very annoying. It doesn't need to be on the bottom, so you can just flip it back over once you have this off. Uh, we loosened these up, pulled it off the throttle body side, and then removed this hose clamp, and we were able to kind of wiggle this out. Um, if this is in a terrible spot for you, just know you can do that. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the passenger side. As far as the driver's side is concerned, we uh, did the same two eight mil this hose does, clamps. This does have a little different uh, breather slash resonator type yeah, box. So on this one, it's right here. Yep. Same dealy do. You just whisk it, um, uh, wiggle it off, wiggle it loose, and then just slowly, what I did was pull it from the throttle body side again, and then just kind of pull up. Those came out. So five there. bolts, two uh, hose clamps, two hose clamps, single bolt for the resonator clamp, clamp, pull, pull. You can see now we have access to our throttle bodies. Now these do look good from the front, but if you look around the edges, you can see it's definitely gonna be real bad on the out, on the, uh, the back side of it because the uh, recirc will kind of kick a bunch of oil and grow stuff into that area. Um, you have one, two, three, four Allen bolts. It is a five millimeter uh, Allen head. Don't unplug your throttle bodies. I'm gonna say it again, if it wasn't in this video, do not unplug the electrics from your throttle bodies, it will force the car to have to relearn the throttles. You don't want to do that. You can avoid that by just unbolting the throttle body, flipping it down, cleaning what you need to clean on the back side, putting a new gasket in and flipping it back up. Yep. And that applies to both sides. We also have gaskets. Yes, we do. Go and grab those. So you can take a look, order these. Just from like O'Reilly's. From an O'Reilly's, yeah. Yeah, they're, this is a, it. they're a different kind of gasket. But you'll see it does have this nice alignment tab to tell you which way this kind of lines in there. And that's it. I believe they're $11 each. That's not bad. Something like that, or no, or $9. It was, it was like basically 20 to 25 bucks for the two gaskets. Yeah. So we are now going to unbolt the throttle bodies and update you in a moment. Exactly. Okay, so our throttle bodies are unbolted. And as you can see, they're pretty dirty. They've never been unbolted before. Um, we could tell by the way that the bolts broke loose, but yeah, that's a bad boy. It's disgusting. Yeah. So, um, we gonna clean it. Yeah, we're definitely gonna get this cleaned with our throttle body cleaner, which is actually just gonna be brake cleaner, right? Yeah, and actually now you can easily see, hey look, there's your third coil pack. So one, Boom. two, and three, and you can check the other side. Super easy to see. Yep. Good yes, to go. indeed. All right, spray your brake parts cleaner and get a wire brush and this scrub is a, that beach down. This is a brass wire brush. This is not the stainless steel kind. You don't want to like... Yeah, because then you could score your throttle body. Yeah, you don't really want to do that. You just want to kind of get in there with the brass one. Kind of get all those nice little corners and then you ready? You want to move the camera back from that? Yeah, that would not be good. Yeah, you don't want to get that on everything. There you can see how starting to get all this nasty, gunky residue on out of here. So take some time, scrub your throttles, make sure they're nice and clean. Don't unplug them. Do not unplug them. Buy a few cans of brake clean. You're gonna go through a lot. 
but you can kind of already see a difference if you want to show how like see how this is nice and clear and look at the other side on the bottom over there yeah and you'll see how gross this is yep so uh clean it out use some paper towels to clean out any excess like you can see you have a little bit of pooling brake clean there wipe it down get it cleaned do the thing yep all right throttle body is clean it doesn't, need that. Be, doesn't need to be perfect it just needs to be better than it was that is a huge difference yeah in comparison uh a quick heads up for you guys when you turn your car back on it'll probably try to die a few times pretty normal turn it on give it a little gas keep it alive until it'll start to warm up and keep itself alive basically yeah so don't be too concerned as long as you didn't flood the thing you're fine but expect it to die a few times yes indeed let's get this one Okay, driver's side clean, passenger side nice and clean. There's still a little residue, maybe I'll take another it's, pass. It's really not a big deal though. It's really the sides, right? That's. It's the sides and kind of right where the throttle plate meets, where that kind of gunkiness is. Yeah. Because that'll eventually start to stick the throttles and everything. Mm -hmm. So, uh, before we wrap this up, we have our new little gasket. It yep. has a tab on the side. And if you look right here on the manifold, you can see here's our tab. So we're just gonna pull that right out. And then we're going to take our new gasket, the other tab lined up, and then just fit it on in, just like that. Um, when you're putting these back together, you'll notice that yes, these have a kind of bushing here for the bolt to go into. Just don't over tighten this because it will break this plastic. Yeah. Um, so just be careful when you're tightening that up. But that's it. It's literally just we're gonna we're gonna put this back in there, put it on, put the bolts in, tighten it down. Yeah, just reverse your process. You got your four or five millimeter allens. Pop your uh, intake elbows or arms or tubes, whatever Things. you want to put them back on. Get your engine cover back on, and you're good to go. And uh, we're going to keep going because we have to do the spark plugs on this yeah. thing. So. so, yeah, while you're here, you know, something to consider if your mileage is right, do maybe plugs. consider doing your spark plugs. Because, uh, like we pointed out, one, two, three, you got to pull these guys anyways to get access to them. Just do it all at the same time. Yeah. You're out of here. Yep. So that's going to do it for the throttle body cleaning video as far as that is concerned. If you want to see the spark plug video, you can check it out. Uh, it'll be it'll be around. <laughs> uh, we'll Some, link it somewhere. somewhere. Maybe. Maybe. We're working on it right now. Yeah, we're doing our, we're, we're doing we're doing it right now. OK, <laughs> chill, chill, bro. <laughs> so uh, let us know if you guys have any questions about that or anything in general. If you have any requests for maintenance or mods or whatever for a G37 or many other cars. We, we also have stuff. a Miata 2350Zs, including a Nismo, 300ZX, uh, 300ZX Cappuccino, Cappuccino, the van we don't talk about, uh, CRZ, a van we don't talk about, FCR X7, E36, 240Z, 280Z, um, RC51, 899 RC51, Lexus RCF. What's up, guys? We just we have a few projects we're working on. Couple. So uh, let us know uh, if you guys have any questions or requests or anything like that. And if you like the video, please make sure to like, subscribe, ring the notification bell. We'll see you in the next one. We appreciate you guys.